Begin with another week of drama and dysfunction within the Shelby County Clerk's Office. This past week, State Comptroller Jason Mumpower wrote a scathing letter about how Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halbert is managing or not managing the money coming into her office from car tags, marriage licenses, and other things. The Comptroller says it's so bad he's sending a team of auditors to figure out where all the money the Clerk's Office collects is going. Well, here's our ABC 24 reporter Stephen Pippo. We'll talk about it on the other side. This is a matter of having a clerk who is not competent to do the job she was elected to do. That's why State Comptroller Jason Munpower says his office is sending a team of auditors to step in and assist the Shelby County Clerk's Office. I expect the clerk to welcome them and to cooperate with them as state law calls for. It comes on the heels of last week's revelation that Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halbert's office submitted inaccurate revenue reports that go back to July jeopardizing the county's next budget. Do I like that the state government is having to come into Shelby County? No. Am I relieved that there is some type of neutral party that can come in and support? Okay, I'll take it. A lot at stake with the state audit, since the Shelby County budget is expected to include money to build two new MSCS schools and renovate Regional One Hospital. Halbert blames the revenue errors on the county's finance software system which the comptroller disputes. I don't think the clerk is competent enough to know what resources she has and doesn't have. Mumpower says his team will arrive Monday, correct the revenue reports, and make sure accurate ones are generated moving forward. That's welcome news to customers. If she can't do the job, let's get somebody who can. Well, that story aired Tuesday. Wednesday, we reported Clerk Halbert sent a new batch of numbers to Shelby County Trustee Regina Newman, who said they are also inaccurate. Well, Tawan, we'll start with you. Uh, what are you, just your general reaction to this? This has been quite a week of, of almost seemingly nonstop headlines. Well, it's not just a week. It's been quite a term mm. of seemingly unpleasant news from the clerk's office. And I am glad that auditors will be here to take a look at the books and see where we are and see what we can do about it um, because this is not, it was enough for the long lines, but when you are treading in the territory of I, we can't operate because we don't know budget numbers to operate, that's dysfunction that we cannot allow to happen. And Catherine, you covered mm -hmm. county government a long time. Uh, as you know, Mayor mm -hmm. Lee Harris preparing his budget, but with such uncertainties, I mean, how significant is this as, as he and his team are preparing for a budget? Yeah, it's a huge deal. Um, Regional one was mentioned, the two schools are mentioned. You have to know how much revenue you have to be able to plan for those. And not knowing that basic thing of how much that $25 wheel tax has brought in is incredibly detrimental to it the is. budget. You just can't budget without knowing that. And that should be something that's easy easy to get. It's just a matter of how many people have paid wheel tax, times it by 25, and then subtract any people who have um, been reimbursed for their wheel tax. So that shouldn't be that complicated, and yet here we are. This whole situation makes a good case for those who always talk about clerk positions should be appointed to make sure that we have um, people who uh, are qualified and competent and I'm not saying she isn't, but the facts are drawing us closer to that opinion. Uh, but people who are also accountable to someone when things go wrong, um, because those are positions that run our government and our revenue. And certainly the county mayor's hands are tied. The county commission's hands look like they're tied. Yeah as well as look like now the state. So, so you cannot allow government not to function. And uh, it builds a good case for appointment of some of those positions. And hey, Catherine, what's your hope that these auditors, they're, they're professionals, they're from the state mm -hmm. level can come in and how confident are you that they can hopefully have a, when they're done with their work, can have a clearer picture, a more accurate picture that hopefully 
will help the county move forward. Yeah, well, I never like to predict the future too much, and I'm not very good at it when I do. <laughs> um, but I am hopeful that they will come in, get the finances straightened out, and be able to tell the county what the revenues are, be able to have accurate reports to post and to provide to the trustee, and that the budget will be able to be completed. I think one thing that has struck me is that Clerk Halbert, right when she came in office, she asked for an audit. And this isn't exactly the audit she wanted. She wanted to audit the county because she thought they were taking funds they shouldn't be taking. But it's an audit. She asked for one. I think it's hopefully everybody will cooperate and things will get sorted out. And you've been an elected official on two different boards. I mean, not having an accurate revenue picture, there could be massive consequences with bond ratings, your your bond rating. I mean, how serious is this if, if hypothetically they're inadvertently off $60, $80 million well, as their budget? This is very serious because when, uh, when you go out to get large bu um, bonds for hospitals, for new jails, for any new building, your credit worthiness is important, just like a mortgage for your home. And so when you have to say, I don't know how much we expect to come in, but we just hoping it'll be this, who do you think, God, if you get the money, it will be at a higher rate. That will go on the back of the taxpayers. And I, we need the lowest uh, uh, credit rate that we can get, not the highest. So a lot is weighing on this. And it's also disappointing because we wanted to believe she could get it together as the clerk uh, and get advice and guidance uh, from uh, uh, someone like Janet Hooks, who uh, I regret uh, her passing. But nothing has worked. But government has to go on. And it should be noted beyond an email that was sent to reporters and other commissioners, we reached out repeatedly to Shelby County Clerk Juan Halbert throughout the week, called, texted her, left messages, no response. Well, that's all we have the time for that segment. But after the break, Memphis Mayor Paul Young unveiling some unconventional approaches as he combats crime and prepares his first spending plan proposal. We'll explain after the break.